how you guys doing today it's pokey punch it's now friday september 1st and i had a real treat for you guys i did actually had one of my good friends and a subscriber he went to a farmer's market and was able to get a stack of packs he told me he doesn't know if they're real or not but he got them for a good price and he wanted me to open them for the channel and i told him of course look at those look at the artworks celebi pikachu rayquaza i think that's a shiny rayquaza So why would I not do that? You know, the only the funny thing is he told me, you know, he went up to the guy and the guy told him it's his last uh, 11 packs, just buy all of them. Um, that way he doesn't have to sell no more. And he walked back around, the guy had 11 more packs put out. <laughs> so I guess that's his little, his little scam. Let's put these in order. We got the Rayquazas, we got the Celebi, Celebi, Pikachu. Pikachu, Iquaza, Celebes. So guys, now let's take a look at these packs. We got new XY Go. So that to me right there is already two different sets. Then we got Sword and Shield Vivid Voltage, 10 additional game cards. Now I get Vivid Voltage. I like opening them up. The hunt for the Chunkachu is always uh, always pleasing. But I've never seen a Vivid Voltage that has Pikachu, you know, in his Safari cap. So, <laughs> with the little Whelmer water bottle. So, I love the artworks on this. So, I just want to open them up. You got, let, me got, let me know in the comments. Have you ever seen these? One, two. Have you ever seen XY Go and Vivid Voltage on the same pack? Who knows? There's more Celebes. So let's start busting these things open, guys. Hope y'all enjoy the content for today. I hope you like. These are my little 3D printed Pokemon. I actually got these from my friend Taylor. He makes those and sell the, sells them at the uh, the Quaker Town Farmers Mart as well. If you're ever in Quaker Town, PA, stop by. They got packs. Most of them are real. Then we come across these iffy packs like this. It feels thin. But you know, it has the... <laughs> it looks like it could be. Um, but chances are these are... You know... Made overseas. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, wow. So our first pack... We got the Leafeon GX. I don't even think that's in... <laughs> the Sword and Shield at all. So a nice little hit there. It's a beautiful card. <laughs> How real it is, I don't know. It looks a little shiny to me. We got the Pucciana. Water energy. Aromatic energy. Ferris seed. We got a Swoobat. A Reggie Rock. And a Swellow. So just looking at them. Oh, what the f <laughs> <Look at that. laughs> that's the the new age pokeball i guess maybe these are real and this is you know <laughs> what the new packs will look like but I, I highly doubt it that's funny look at the back of that card guys so if anything this will have a nice little gag reel out of these packs but let's see how many you know awesome hits how many gx's are better because I'm thinking every pack is going to have, uh, you know, what would be an awesome card if it was, if it wasn't fake. Okay, let's look here. The next one, we got the Onyx GX. It looks like it'll be a GX in every pack. And we got a Jolteon Rare. Throw that up there too. Whether it's fake or not, we're going to bag and tag them. And I want to get these back to my boy Tom. You know, shout out to Tom. Oh, they're right there. We got the Senna Scourge as Charmeleon. <laughs> so that's already the, an error right there. That's how you know. If you found this and there were real cards, you probably have something that's a little bit value if you have a Senna Scourge. 
evolves from Charmander and it's a Charmeleon. So that's pretty funny. That, oh man, guys, we're gonna have a good time opening these. Crock a rock. <laughs> we got a beauty. We got a Zashion. Okay. Lycan rock and a Garbodor. And it looks like most of these are all rares. All these are a lot of them are rare cards. <laughs> so let's just have a good laugh, guys. I'm gonna open up all these packs. You know, thank you to my boy Tom who took the time out to get these. You know, he's not he plays the games. He's not as versed as he could be. Um, but it was all in good intentions that he got me these packs. And at the end of the day, if we're gonna see some some nice artworks, look at that, Buzzwall GX. Jet Punch, Knuckle, Knuckle Impact. So we're getting some nice cards, you know? I think he actually told me that the vendor he bought them from told him you can play the game with them. He asked him, are these real? He goes, yeah, you can play with them. You can play the card game with them. Of course you can play the card game with any cards. But just looking at it, that's another thing. Look, you see how the the 30 on that's a little bit thinner. You can see it, you know, better in person. Hitman Top and a Jirachi. And look, look. Let me get this in here, guys. This Jirachi is a ultra mega rare. You see that on the bottom? But it's not holographic. But we'll take you guys. You know, we're getting cards. And it was a nice gesture from, you know, one of my subscribers and a, and a good friend of mine. I work with, you know, Tom every day. And, you know, he gets me through a lot, man. Whether it's I'm tired at work or just talking about my channel. So for him to, to try to do this for me, it means a lot, man. Look at this. Look at the double the shinies of all shinies imagine if that's how pokemon created their cards <laughs> it's too much so add that to the background look at it glow Wubat, blitzel vaporeon so we're getting the hits dude zamazenta god damn we're getting we're about to get every rare card ever made just fake turn these around nuzli a Zekrom. Oh man, the hits for days. And then our last XY Go, Sword and Shield Vivid Voltage. <laughs> the newest of new or the fakest of fake, guys. You let me know in the comments. Um, the good thing is we're getting to see a lot of artworks. And at least you feel like you're getting something. If I was a kid that didn't know any better and I'm opening these up. Like this card. Is that a shiny red Gyarados? Stormy Seal Smash Burn. Uh, and that's an EX. So we're getting awesome cards. We're seeing some beautiful artworks. It's just the chances are these cards aren't. Pikachu on the ball. <laughs> so look at that. We're getting to see stuff that we wouldn't normally see. So it is a blessing. It's not bad to open these up. Um, I just, oh, oh, look, we got a Charmander, and then snuck in there is a non-holographic Pikachu VMAX Chonkachu, and that's what's supposed to be. On the cover, it's supposed to be this Pikachu, not this Pikachu, but like I said, we're doing this just to see the different cards, um, have a little fun, and getting some excitement because... You know, most of these packs are going to have the little blessings we want to see. Um, you don't normally get these many hits. I've opened up of the new Obsidian Flames, and I think I got in 30 packs, 2 or 3 EX, but I did pull a Charizard. Okay. You can't beat that, guys. They're not real, but that's a Blastoise Piplup. I believe this is from... Oh, I forget what it is. Uh, what is it? Eclipse, Cosmic Eclipse. You can get that card. But today, we're pulling them, man. We're getting all the pulls. It's a good video when you're getting this many pulls. Cramorant, 
Rayquaza, okay. Non-stop hits. Trumby, it looks like this one's a blessed pack. Clabas, this might be considered a, a god pack when it comes to fakeness. Because we got a Zacian. I actually have this. And then we got another Chonkachu. So imagine if I was pulling all these cards and they were real, man. How excited would you be? We'll go with another. <laughs> this is funny, man. Um, I don't normally do this. I, I try to all uh, go to places where I know the cards are authentic. Well, like I said, my boy hooked me up, so I'm going to open up all of them. I'm going to do him the favor. I'm going to bag all these up. Maybe he can go back and and make a couple dollars and sell these himself. Even if he sells these uh, Gigantamaxes and VMAXs and EX cards individually for a dollar a piece, you know, he's going to get his money back. And that's fair, man, 50 cents. There'll be a kid that, you know, doesn't have the money to buy this or that, just wants to collect so that it can be a blessing. I remember being younger and the only store that sold Pokemon cards in my town had packs for $7. So had I seen a pack for a dollar, being eight, nine, 10, 11 years old, I would have bought it. I would at least try it. So we can't fully knock them. Um, but where it gets fishy is where people are charging regular prices for cards that are worth pennies. For packs that are worth pennies we got the zation v so we're keeping it up man we're getting at least one holographic uh one of the fake holographics look at the orbital v max but we're getting a ton of hits we're getting to see a lot of cards that if we were pulling in 10 packs we wouldn't uh you know have the opportunity to see all these cards look at this alugia and then a pikachu v so, it's good. When was the last time you seen that card, guys? Come on. Even if they're fake. Just enjoy it for Pokemon. Enjoy it as a collector. Being able to see and get cards that we would normally die to get. If I opened up a Cosmic Eclipse right now and got the Pin Plump and Blastoise, I'd pass out. But today we can do it for pennies on the dollar. Like I said, I think he got these uh, 11 packs for $10. And it's not bad content. Uh, we're able to see, look, Inteleon. Never even seen this card. But today we're given the opportunity because my boy took the risk and got us some fake, fake packs. We know better. We're not going to go, okay, Colossal VMAX. Never have gotten this card before. Oh, Galarian Dormant. Dormant. <laughs> and this is just a God pack right here, guys. Ever seed Heroes Metal. So look. <laughs> Egg Glass V Max. Darmansion and the Colossal. All non-holographic. Uh full or <laughs> rares. So you gotta love it. And we are down to our last two. I feel like these Pikachu packs are gonna have some fire in them. Um, let's give it a try. I should maybe keep one of these packs for him, um, because I do like that artwork. And just so that, uh, he remembers not to do this shit in the future. Okay, we got a full art weevil. You know, you can definitely tell, guys. When you're looking at that, if you see a card, like even the printing, they tried. They made a good effort. Um, if you are selling these, don't, don't sell them for more than a dollar a pack. At least give the kids, an, uh, um, for the one pack they were going to get, give them goddamn 10 packs so that they feel like they did something. We got the Whale Lord, Delmise, Meowth, Galarian. And we're down to our last. I'm going to try to open this one up slowly for my boy, Tommy. Oh, man, but you can't because they're, they're fake packs. They don't want to budge. And then our last, we got the Scizor EX. We're pulling EXs up the Wahoo. Non-stop EXs, guys. And just enjoy. Look at that. VMAX. Daruldan. Deancey. Zygarde. Okay, look at these. When was the last time you've seen these artworks? Remember that. 
when you're upset and mad because you may have gotten ripped off. At least remember that you're doing it for Pokemon's sake and you can at least remember the cards that were available because a lot of these are older cards, you know? Uh, the, the new generation and people that have just started collection collecting may not be able to see, you know, that's definitely Sword and Shield. But a, a Buzzwall GX, you're not going to see that unless you get one of these. The chances of you pulling that, you're not going to see it. Leafy on GX, you're not going to see it, guys. So, enjoy the arts. Uh, enjoy being able to at least read up on the stats. If you're playing a little fake game with your friends, whoop some ass with a Weavile. It looks like Koga maybe to me. And then probably the, the one of my favorite pulls of today, um, a card that I've wanted for a long time. I do have a bunch of Cosmic Eclipses that I'm thinking about opening to try to get it. I just don't want to reduce the value by opening them. And then I remember this, <laughs> the Red Gyarados from Silver Version in Pokemon when I had that regular Game Boy. He was just in the middle of a lake and I call his red ass. That's another nice one there. Brings back memories. You know, for nostalgia's sake, I'll say go for it, man. Why not? Get yourself some cars that are going to make you feel good and at least bring back some memories. So Y'all have a good one. This is Poke Punch again. Shout out to my boy Tom. Um, I'll be bagging these and tagging these up just to get them back to him. Because uh, you never know when you can uh, you can surprise a little kid or give them something that they don't have for such a low price. Y'all have a good one, guys.